Hey YouTube, here we have a Delta 3500 that won't boot up. It's giving us a 132 beep code, and this more than likely means that we have bad RAM. So let's open this bad boy up. Let's start by turning off the computer. Let's move our things around. Gonna disconnect it from the power. Disconnect the display port and press this black button on the power supply until we get rid of all the charge. You can also click this power button in the front. There, you got to drain the capacitors out. So, let's put this on the ground. And let's depress this lever to bring the side cover off. Get that out of the way. Now, you have to bring up this hard drive plate. And you do that by pressing this lever back and bringing the side plate up and out of the way. Then you have this air vent. It's pushing air around the RAM, keeping it cool. So you just bring that up. It's not, it's not uh, locked into place or anything. Just a piece of plastic. Get that out of the way. Now we see our RAM. So, same as always, clip on the left, clip on the right, bring it out. Do that for all three, or six, or four, whichever ones you have. All right, so here we have three two gigabyte sticks of DDR3 uh, non-registered RAM or unbuffered. So, I'm gonna place these back on the same three white ports. So click into place on both sides. Let's do this for all three. And you're good to go. So put it back together. Put back the fan shroud. There into place. Bring back this hard drive plate, make it click into place. Now, put back your side cover. Oops. Right, you press the cover again, make it easier. There we go. Right, now let's power it up. All right, so I've got the monitor hooked up to the computer, and I've got power. Try to turn it on. Alright, so no more beep code. And we've got a post. I don't think there's any operating system installed, we'll see. We've got a degraded rate volume. We only have one hard drive one terabyte hard drive and yep no boot device available our RAM is good now let's check our BIOS see if our RAM is detected and then press F2 let's go to system board and we've got three two gigabyte sticks of DDR3 so, in our next video, we'll show you how to install Windows 10 Pro. Here we have a system beep code. We're looking for 132 for this T3500. And here we have it. You can see here that the beep code is telling us that the first 64 kilobytes of RAM test is in progress or a failure. And we already know that this computer is not posting. Now we can look for RAM configurations and memory specifications. And here we're reading that the T3500 uses 1066 MHz or 1333 MHz DDR3 unbuffered SD RAM memory. This computer came with 
12 gigabytes of DDR3 buffered memory. More than likely tells me that someone just put in some sticks of RAM in there. Didn't really know if it, if it would work or anything like that. And apparently it didn't. So change them out for 6 gigabytes of unbuffered RAM. We're not having a problem. You see here, these are the supported memory configurations. Uh, the way it came, it came with three four gigabyte sticks of RAM. They're supposed to be used in DIM one through three. Uh, apparently, this didn't work because it was buffered. So now that we have six gigabytes of RAM in two gigabyte sticks, we still have to place them in DIM one two three, which are the white slots on the motherboard. So. Hope all this documentation helps you.